every unknown hooper coming up only wants one thing, and that's to prove that they got what it takes to play at the next level. Some players just need an opportunity. Just look at John Morant. He only had one offer coming into college, and now he's projected to be a top three pick in this upcoming NBA draft. And if a player does get an opportunity to get exposure and coverage and eyeballs on them, it's up to them to either show out or get exposed. Some people don't have what it takes to play in front of bright lights and cameras, but for others, that's when they play their best. Emmanuel Maldonado was an unknown player in 2018. Flash forward one year later, he's a star player playing alongside Julian Newman, becoming one of the best scoring backcourts in the country. When Downey played Spire featuring LaMelo Ball, all the hype was on Julian vs LaMelo matchup. But no one predicted that the sophomore out of Orlando, Florida would drop 30 points on one of the best high school teams in the country and even get fancy with it, dribbling between defenders' legs twice and throwing behind the back dimes. In one year, Emmanuel went from an unknown hooper to gaining 8 D1 offers and becoming the co-star to one of the most famous high school hoopers in the country. This is his story. Growing up, he started playing basketball in 7th grade. Coming up, people in Orlando knew that he had talent and potential to be great. He played AAU ball with Showtime Hoops, now called One Family, where Lottery picked Nazir Little and Ronaldo Segu spent their AAU time with. From an early stage in his development, his strength was his ball handling and shooting. Coming into Colonial High School as an unknown high school prospect with a losing record as a freshman, the 6'3 Manny averaged 10 points a game, 2 assists, and 2.5 and rebounds a game. Now these stats aren't eye popping, but they are promising coming from a freshman. He even played against Downey as a freshman and showed off some potential that he could really be good. He ended up playing pickup ball with the Newmans, after that he eventually transferred down to Downey Christian. Downey Christian had a lot of media coverage because of Newman, and this was Emmanuel's chance to be on the national spotlight. And then it was scheduled that Spire Academy was going to play Downey Christian. The game was very hyped as it would be the first time Julie Newman and LaMelo Ball matched up. But no one expected that a sophomore would steal the show. Manny hit 7 threes and finished the game with 30 points, 6 assists, 5 rebounds, and 3 steals. The game might have been a blowout, but Manny still put on a show. He decided to dribble between Rocket Watts' legs and then drain a 3, then he did it again and hit another 3. LaMelo finished the game with 14 points and a triple-double, but Manny led the game in scoring and gained a lot of new fans. This season, Manny played next to Julian Newman, one of the best scorers in the country, but he managed to get his own shine next to the viral star. He started to blow up the season with his Instagram following going up over 50,000 followers and blowing up all over YouTube. While Julian Newman averaged 33 points a game, Manny put up 15 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 steals, and 1.5 and blocks per game. His versatility playing both guard spots and the ability to hit big shots in clutch situations made him pop up on a lot of D1 college radars. He has since received 8 offers from D1 schools, especially since Downey has played some big competition like National Champions IMG Academy, Oak Ridge featuring 5 star CJ Walker, Bella Vista featuring 5 star Zion Harmon and Terry Armstrong, West Oaks Academy, and of course LaMelo's team Spire Academy, and also the team that beat Spire, Prolific Prep. This AAU season, he has been killing it for one family on the Adidas Gauntlet and is playing for both the 17U team and the 16U team since he is only a sophomore. While Downey had a down year in terms of their team record, they looked very promising in Julian Newman's senior year and Emmanuel coming back off an AAU season. Watch out for Emmanuel Maldonado as he keeps on turning heads. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's Julian from Journey, and I'm out.